Many people do not have the means necessary to go to a design school or take a design course or a bootcamp. However, that doesn't mean that they cannot become great UX UI designers. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to give you some advice on how to become a self-taught designer. As an agency owner and a designer myself, I did not take any courses to learn this skill and I did not go to any bootcamp. Believe it or not, YouTube and Google were my best friends for many, many years and months and they still are today. Even now, I mean, how do you think I took up on Webflow or Figma when they first came up? As a self-taught, you have to have this mindset and be ready to keep on learning and stop waiting for teachers or someone else to give you the answer. And rather, you need to start searching it for yourself. So my first and top advice is to do a day's worth of research before you decide to change your career and learn how to become a UX UI designer. And for that, you have plenty of videos here on YouTube and I will also link some below in the description. You need to understand what you will do, your job description, how much money will you make? And also the most important thing is like, how long will it take you to get to a point where you're gonna be able to get your first job? You have videos like a day in a life of why I quit my job as a designer, preparing for an interview and so on. Believe me, if you take these steps, you will save a ton of time, but not in case you decide not to follow this path. But in case you do, because then you'll know pretty much where to start and what to do in order to succeed. So the next piece of advice is consistency. Nothing amazing is going to happen overnight. Try to organize your time and maintain the pace for at least four to six months. If you work a full-time job, I will suggest you to set aside a few hours a week or during the weekend or after work, but stick to it religiously. To maintain focus and motivation, I will highly suggest you to listen to a few design podcasts every day or try to subscribe to a few YouTube channels and watch them during lunch hours. And you will see that after a couple of weeks, it will be part of your routine and you will start to enjoy it. The third piece of advice is to start with only one design software in the beginning and try to master it. In my opinion, I propose Figma because it's user friendly enough and you can access it from both OS and Windows machines. And also a lot of companies use it these days. Focus on this and start with beginner tutorials and try to create a few small things in Figma like buttons, input fields, some profile cards and move your way up from there. Next one is once you master this one software, start to work on your portfolio. For this, you can either join platforms like 99design and work for pennies at the beginning just to start creating some designs, or you can simply try to replicate a few designs from Dribbble. The sooner you start, the better. Believe me, you learn more as you practice. Try to recreate those designs that you like. Look at small details like what color combination do they use? What fonts do they use? How big are the fonts? How small the spacing between elements is? And so on. And trust me, if you pay attention to those details, you'll see that in no time, you'll start creating some amazing UI designs. And the final piece of advice is to apply for an entry level job as soon as you complete your first version of your portfolio. Obviously, this will not be your best work. However, it doesn't actually matter. You will go to interviews, you will get feedback, and then you're gonna go back to the drawing board. And that's how it works, basically. Also, while you apply for these jobs, I will highly suggest you to sign up to as many platforms as possible and try to get some freelance projects. Or if you have small businesses around you, try offering your services to them and try to build some connections. If you're consistent and you enjoy doing this and also you have that eager to improve all the time, you will either get a job or have success with your freelance path. Either way, it will be good for you. That being said, this is it for today. If you are at the beginning and need some tips and tricks, let me know down below in the comments. Also, let me know if you want me to do a live here on YouTube where I can go over some of your portfolios and give feedback. But till next time, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.